morning. I've actually been here for three days. Um, I'm gonna update you guys on what I've been doing and then finish my coffee and we'll get started on what we're gonna work on today. About a month ago, during the annual deer camp video, which was a really good video that YouTube didn't recommend to anyone, so if you missed that, I would recommend watching that. But anyway, I mentioned wanting to make a trail that connected the existing path down to the waterfall back to the cabin, but travels along the edge of the ravine. Well, my brother-in-law's been here with me, and while I was working on shingles, he basically went through and cleared that trail, so we're gonna give you a tour of that now. This is the existing trail over to the waterfall. And this is the entrance to the new trail that follows the ravine. All right, let's check out this trail. So I've got a lot of these witness oaks that were at the edge of the old pasture. Um, and this, I don't know if it does it justice, this is a really nice old tree. And you can see a stump right there, that's a cedar that my brother-in-law took down along this trail. And you know, you'd say, why are you cutting down these trees? But the cedars really take a lot of water um, and compete with these witness oaks, which support a lot of wildlife in the food chain. I mean, they're acorns. There's not only deer that they support, but so many other types of animals um, can subside off of these oaks that you really don't want them to be in any kind of distress. We've got quite a lot of coyote activity. Um, probably scavenged this maybe from that deer in the ravine and brought it up. And second scenic spot. You faintly see the waterfall through there. It's just that's not the waterfall. It's just one of them. So you got another old witness oak growing. Um, the camera is not at an angle. It's it's been growing at an angle and if you look over here you can see basically a big mound of earth and there's another tree right here growing at an angle and my thought is that um, this is a former landslide um, which is pretty common around here this, there's not um, the soil just slumps off the limestone that's below the earth and you can see just how steep it is. Um, that's, that's almost a sheer cliff. And really these tree roots and the grass and stuff that grows up are what's holding this land up. It's difficult to appreciate a sense of scale of how far down and how big that is, but it's, it's actually quite bigger than it looks. The trail just goes up through there. Made some, some hippie stacks to mark the trail. A lot of dead ashes, really sad. If I had a mill, man, this stuff is, uh, it is spalted, a little punky, but I would use it. So you can see that discoloration right there. Um, that is spalting, and it's, it's these mushrooms right here that cause that. Got a lot of nice rocks. If I could ever bring the uh, excavator out here, I could grab these guys, but I, I really don't like disturbing too much of the earth. If any of you guys watched an old video called Enjoying Memorial Day Weekend, um, those are the pools that my brother-in-law and his kids made down there. And that is the, the waterfall that I call the waterfall, even though we have multiple waterfalls. That's the one at the top of the trail. So we basically completed the new trail. The trout lilies are poking their heads up through along with the skunk cabbages. This is really cool. I think it's skunk cabbages that I read about this, but they can actually produce enough heat that they, they can gain energy from the sun and actually keep the soil around the root system warm so that they can come up early and survive frosts. I really love seeing all these interesting mosses. I need to get my other lens and take a walk up the ravine and see what other flowers I can find. All right, and that's it. That's the new trail. We're back where the Cedar Barren intersects with the waterfall and the old trail that used to go there. A lot of coyote activity around here. Kind of makes me nervous to have Beatrice out here on a run. It's one of the many seeps all over this hillside. 
old pile of stones. So the Cedar Barrens were pastures. The, the settlers came out and farmed this for a while and realized it wasn't very good land for farming. Um, just not enough good soil. Um, but they cleared the fields and put all these stones in piles. It's been about two months since I first installed the mini split and I'm finding that during these in-between climates where maybe it gets to 65 Fahrenheit during the day but at night it might get you know low 40s mid 30s that the mini split is really handy um, to just run as a heater in the morning I'll turn it on for an hour the cabin will generally be warm after that point it'll hold heat overnight but it'll be kind of uncomfortable when you wake up in the morning the nice thing is you turn the you turn it off after an hour the batteries are usually fully charged by noon um, so that's something I normally would use propane for, um, but I can make more electricity, but I can't make more propane. So it's really nice to be able to do that with the mini split. For the past two days, among other things, I've been working on the shingles and I've actually spared you having to watch another shingle video. But if you really feel left out, you can just go back and watch one of my old shingle videos and imagine the shingles going up right here. So I basically started at this corner over by the mini split, you can see where the shingles change color. And I worked my way over and I decided to do shingles inside the outdoor shower and basically worked up and met up with the part that I had done a while back over here by the window. So uh, a lot of new people subscribed after the shop video. I just wanna take a moment to tell you guys that um, literally everything you might see in passing in one of my videos is a video of itself. So like this table, this window trim, this seat I'm sitting on, this cabinet, these cabinet faces, um, they're all their own video. And I don't, I'm at the point where I don't upload that much. I hate making dumb videos about nothing um, just because that's what YouTube wants you to do. Um, every video I make is about a project or at least has a subject and a conclusion. Um, so if you're really wanting a video, I would suggest just going back and grabbing some of my old videos and watching them because you know I'm just I'm not putting out videos about nothing so it may be a while before there's a new video but the good news is all my old videos are good. I would stand by any one of them.
Some of you noticed the color difference here, but this is a product called Dense Shield, which is a tile backer. And when you put two sheets together, you seal the joint with silicone before you butt them. And then you use alkali resistant mesh tape with thin set and you thin set it. Um, and then as an extra step, I actually put aqua defense over the thin set, which is probably totally unnecessary. But uh, the point is, this is prepped for tile, this whole corner. But I did decide to paint this just because I can always do tile again later if I decide I don't like it. But I figure I might as well try painting it first. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, let's take a look at what we got done. Um, first thing I notice is that even though this is just primer, uh, to me this confirms that a light color is the right choice here. Um, so Sarah and I thought about it and we think that between the black and the wood, we're gonna stick with our original choice of alabaster, which is pretty similar in tone almost to this, to this primer white. Um, and then, I got a lot of good suggestions from you guys. Um, I do appreciate them. Yeah, this is nice. Um, next time I can come down here, this is all primed. I can do maybe a little more caulking, touch up any areas where you can see the drywall finish. Sometimes it's actually easier to prime it and then touch it up because it maybe changes the way the light shines on it. Um, so I'll do anything I need, but I think all in all it's looking pretty good. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.